This is the entire kit that I need to do this job. Proper mask. So that's the instant vat. And that's the total amount of setup that's required. And then I flick it on. G'day, how's it going? Today, I'm just out in the apiaries doing some day-to-day -day work. The main task I've got at this time of year is running around the hives, vaporizing them with oxalic acid. Now they've got oxalic acid strips in them that have been there since February. In a few weeks, I'm going to replace all those with fresh ones. Some of my testing recently has shown that some of my hives have mite levels that are just getting up a little bit. So even though I'm putting the strips in, in a normal year that will keep the mite levels low. What I'm finding this year is that I just need a little bit extra in those hives, so I'm going to vaporize them at least three times. It is getting late in the season, and the bees have probably already made their winter bees. I'm not too concerned about that. I'm not too concerned about there being too much damage to the hives from the mite levels that are there. I just want to get those mite levels as low as I possibly can going into the winter time. So today I'm using the Instavap and this is the entire kit that I need to do this job. Proper, oh and a bee suit, proper uh, mask. I probably actually could do this without a bee suit on. I'll start with no bee suit and see how that goes. In here I've got a bunch of rechargeable DeWalt batteries. They're all fully charged, made sure of that before I left. So that's the instant vap and that's the total amount of setup that's required and then I flick it on. And while it heats up I'll go and organize myself, put my mask on and get busy. I'll show you in real time a couple of hives and then I'll fast forward it from there. I should probably explain that uh, Different sized hives require a different dose rate, so I will go through and do all the biggest hives first, then I'll adjust the dose rate, go down to the next sized hives, adjust it again, and do the smallest hives. So I'm not sure if you can see that screen in this light. You see the temperature's clicking its way up to 230. That's uh, Fahrenheit. Is it? Maybe it's centigrade. No, it's not. It's centigrade. That, that's centigrade. That's nearly up to temperature now. It's taken about... Uh, Maybe two to three minutes. Obviously I'm not going to be able to talk with this thing over my mouth, so you can just watch and see how it goes. So I can pull the mask off right now because there's no fumes around me. You'll notice that I've got a hole near the top of the hive and I haven't blocked off the entrance. Some fumes coming towards me now so I'll just step to one side. That way the fumes have to go down through the hive 
before they get out the entrance and that allows me to get away without blocking that entrance off. Because some of the fumes escape, but not many of them, I tend to uh, just up the dose rate a little bit to compensate for that. And that's it, on to the next shard. One last note before I sign off. This thing gives off vapors even after it's turned off. And I don't want those in the truck. See it fuming there? So it drops down in there. Actually I'll take the battery off off camera. Oh, I just got a whiff of it. Out of the sunlight. And thanks for watching. Tune in next time. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>